so a lot of you have asked if I could do a video on my transmitter and how I bind to the receiver. It's actually rather quick, simple, and there's really nothing to it. The transmitter I use is this one, is the Devils 7E. And if we turn it on, I use the version 5.0. And I believe that's the latest version that they have. So after you have everything wired up as per the wiring diagram that I have here, now install the battery and turn it on. And the blinking light shows you that it has power. We can go ahead and turn on our transmitter. And now this one, I've already got it bounded and I've already got it set to the controls that I like. So let me try to see if I could choose a different, uh, go into a, choosing a different model because this one is, is already binded. It's already set to the correct channels that I like. Let's do model setup. I'm just pressing ENT for enter. So we can load a different model. Model 16 has none. Come down here to the protocols and change it to uh, DSM2. Now you can go over to bind. It, it bound it again. And now all of these controls are set differently now. The left stick is for the servo and motor, and the right stick are for the lights. Now, all I have to do now is change the right stick to be my throttle for the motor up and down, and left and right to be the servo instead of the motor. And these switches up here, F mode, F mod and hold will be changed to the lights. And just on a side note, normally when the receiver is not bounded yet, you will see the light flash really fast and that will indicate that it's not bounded to anything yet. So from here, normally what I like to do is go into the menu, click enter and then go into the transmitter menu and then go down to channel monitor. Here, you can see where your sticks are. Channel one is left stick up and down. So what I normally do is I just write it here, left side, right side, and then the up and down stick, channel one. And then channel two, I meant channel four would be the left stick you can see it indicated by the numbers channel 4 is the left stick left and right so left and right channel 4 and then the right stick up and down channel 3 and this will be channel 2 I also need to mention that we only know the channels. If you click, I want to say enter or no. You click this button to go forward. You could actually see uh, the names of each channel. So if we go the left stick up and down will be throttle. And normally what I would do is I would write that here and then the left and right stick is rudder. And now the right stick up and down is the elevators. And now this will be our aileron. This is aileron here. Right stick, left and right. 
Now with these with these written down like this, we want to or actually what I want to do is I like to change this channel 4 this channel 4 is left and right stick to be my my servo. So on my left stick the left and right uh channel 4 I want it to be my servo. And then the right stick up and down, I want that to be my throttle. Which is channel three. Or I'm sorry, the motor. So now that we have those channel written down, we can go and change the output of the sticks to our liking. So we can just exit out of here and then go to model menu, go down to the mixer and here in this mixer, we can change the channels to our liking. The last piece of information that needs to be written down is where each of these, either the motor, servo and the lights are, are which channel they are on. So if we go through each of them one by one, you can hear left and right, our left and right stick is for the motor. So the left and right stick, which is on channel four, this is motor. So that means that the motor is on the rudder channel and our up and down stick is the throttle which means that the servo is on the throttle channel. And our lights are on the aileron and uh, the elevator channel. So now what we can do is we can go into the menu and we can start changing these to our liking. And you can do this however, you can set the channels to whichever stick you want and you can set either the servo or motor on whichever stick you want. But my preference is having the throttle on the right stick and my steering on the left stick. So we go into uh, model menu and then we go down to mixer. Here we have throttle, which is our stock configuration, which will be set to, th to throttle. And we have here saying that the throttle is the our servo our throttle is our servo okay and we want it to be on the on channel four actually what i want to do is change the change the lights which will be on channel two and three change the lights over to these two switches up here first and then I can change the, the motor and the servo around. So if I go in here to simple and click enter, I could change this over to uh, the source. I can change the source over to either hold or F mode. Uh, I could just, I'll just put that down to hold. And now if I use the switch, you can see the light come on. And let's do the same for uh, channel three. Since the we've already used this for the front lights, we can use F mode for the rear lights. So we change this to F mode, save. The rear lights will come on. Now what I want to do is go back to this menu here. I want to change the motor over to the um, right stick up and down. So here, if we remember th the motor is on the rudder channel, which is channel, channel four down here, but it is the rudder channel. What we can do is we can go down here and say, hey, I want I want this channel to be the elevator 
because the elevator is on channel 3. So if we change this output source to the elevator and save, now the motor has jumped over to this channel here. And we still have to change our our steering. Currently, you can leave it as is if you're comfortable with it or if you like it. But what I normally like to do is just change these around to my liking. So we know that the throttle, the throttle is set on for our servo, but we want it on channel four, which is rudder. So we will go here to the simple menu again, and then go down here to output source and find our our rudder find the rudder there we go and we can do save now if we do left and right on the left stick it shows or you can hear the um servo moving and the cool thing about it is a lot of the times for me at least when i when i do a right steer it actually steers left. So what that what that means is um, I just have it backwards. So I could I could just flip the voltage here relatively easy. What you can do is you can go back to this simple menu here, and here you can just hit the enter menu or the enter button, and it and it flips the polarity of it. And now if you go back, you have to save it. And if you go back, you can steer it and it will go right when you steer right and when you go left, it will steer left. Same goes for the motor. For the motor, if you happen to um, push the stick up and it goes reverse and that's really confusing to you, you can go back into this menu here, go back to the source, the output source, flip the uh, voltage on it. Now, go back to save then once you go you you press up on the stick it goes up and go if you if you push down on the stick it goes down so it's really that simple that's all I do the transmitter is completely stock I don't I don't have any modifications to it I just load in the firmware and started using it there's actually a lot more ways you can program the receiver but i don't know how i'll have to figure that out but other than that that's how i use my transmitter binding is really easy and i just change the controls to my liking